In this video, I will show you how to install MySQL on Windows. So the first step is to download MySQL. So let's type MySQL. Let's hit enter. Now let's go to this first link. And here let's click on downloads. Now let's scroll down and let's click on MySQL community downloads. Now here we have just to click on MySQL installer for Windows. Then we have to download this file, which is the installer that does not require an internet connection. So let's download it. In this page, we have just to say no thanks, just start my download. Now this is the installer, we can save it on the computer. But in my case, I have already downloaded this file, so I will cancel this download and I will use the installer that I have downloaded, which is this one. So let's start it. In this window, as we can see, we have several options for the installation. The minimum is to install the server. But in my case, I want to install the server plus the client. And the client is a user interface that allows us to manipulate the database. For this reason, to install the server and the client, I will click on Custom, then let's click on Next. And here, let's select the server. So I have to expand this and to add this version of the server now let's add it now we need to do the same thing with the client so we have to expand applications then to expand workbench and here we need to expand this and to add this mysql workbench to the list of the tools that will be installed now let's click next here it is mentioned that the Microsoft Redistributable is missing on my computer. That's why the MySQL installer will try to download and install it. So let's click on Execute. Now in this window we have just to select this checkbox. Then let's click on Install. And finally we have to click on Close. So now let's click on Next and let's click on execute. Now the MySQL server and client have been installed, so let's click on next. Now let's click next again. In this window we have just to accept the default parameters that are used, and as you can see this is the port number that will be used by MySQL server. Now let's click on next, and let's click on next again. So here we have to provide the password of the root user and to confirm this password. So let's provide a password that we can remember. It is also optional to add a new user. So let's add a new user. This is not required, but I just want to show you how to do this. So I will call it admin. And of course, I need to provide the password. So let's click on OK. And let's click on Next. So in this window, it is mentioned that the MySQL server will start when the system starts. So this is good. So let's click on Next. Then let's click on Execute. Now the server is configured successfully. So let's click on Finish. And let's click on Next. Now I don't like to start MySQL client, which is also called MySQL Workbench. So let's uncheck this box and I will show you later how to start the MySQL client. So let's click on finish to close this window. Now let's add MySQL server to the system environment variable. So let's go to the location where we installed the MySQL server. So it is on the C drive into program files in a folder called MySQL in this folder MySQL server. And then we have to open the bin folder. So just here we can find the MySQL executable, which is this one. So we need to add this path to the system environment variable. So let's copy it and let's go to the system environment variables. Let's click on advanced system settings. Then let's click on environment variables. Then let's find the path variable, which is this one. And let's update it. So at the beginning of this field, I will paste the value that I copied. 
Let's add also a semicolon as the separator between the different paths. Let's click on OK. OK. OK again. And let's close this window. Now we can open the command prompt to check that MySQL server is installed correctly and to test it. So let's open the command prompt. And in this window, I have just to type MySQL hyphen hyphen version. And as you can see, it is installed correctly. And this is the latest version of MySQL that I have installed. Now let's connect to the server. So I have to type MySQL minus u for user, then the root user, minus p for password. Then let's provide the password. Now I am connected to the server. So let's take a look on the available databases. So I will type show databases. Let's hit enter. And here, as you can see, we have these four databases. So let's create a new one. So let's type create database with the name of the database. So here I will create a new database called my shop. So let's hit enter. Now the database has been created. So let's see the list of the available databases using show databases. And as you can see, this is the new database that I have created. Now let's close this connection using the exit command. And let's close this one. So to open the MySQL client, which is called Workbench, we can just go to the location where we installed MySQL. Then we have to open this folder. And here we have to find the Workbench executable. So this is it. We have just to send it to the desktop as a shortcut. Now we can close this folder because we have just created this shortcut for the MySQL Workbench. And we have just to start it. In this window, we can connect to the database by clicking on this button. Then in this window, we have just to provide the root password. So now we are connected to the database. And in this interface, as you can see, we have different areas. So I can hide this area by clicking on this button. And also I can hide this area using this button. So in this area, to see the available databases, we have just to click on schema. And here, as you can see, this is the database that I have created. In the next video, I will show you how to use MySQL Workbench. Finally, thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel.